Hello YouTube. In this video I want to show you some of my 3D prints I designed and printed. Especially for the OLED clock that was long long overdue. But I finally made it. So let me start small from the left. This is the tiny GPS module that will be an option for the V-Gage. Uh, as an external GPS module and I designed this little guy here that will the GPS will go in here so you can mount it anywhere I might make another case with some tabs so you can screw it down somewhere but uh, like this you can just uh, use zip ties to zip tie it somewhere that it's convenient for you so this will be an option for the V-Gage if you do not want the internal GPS module and would like to prefer this, this will be it, that the one I will be using. This one is 10 Hz capable and uh, has a backup battery like you see here and works beautifully and gets uh, the best reception of all the GPS modules I'm using. It even gets better reception than this big guy here unbelievable but true so this one is more sensitive if that's what it is to make it receive the signals better anyhow so this is the mini gps or micro gps and then i will go with this one i did this for the rotary encoder i think i showed this one before uh, I'm still waiting on some screws. Uh, I did upload this on uh, Tindy also, so you can, if you have the module, you can download this and uh, use it on your uh, rotor encoder module. And then I found uh, this design on uh, Thingiverse, which I liked, and I printed. But uh, somehow people tell me they like the cube version better than this one. This one is a little easier to see on your desk because the display is facing up. So on this one I just uh, redesigned the back piece so I can use the mini USB uh, PCBs in there so you can connect your USB to power it. I'm using it here with the um, weather forecast code on the ESP so that's the 1.3 inch and then I found uh, this case not this version but uh, it was this here you will see the holes or the room for the magnets this is actually from uh, let me pull it up here from Miguel B on Thingiverse so I did first try his version but on his the front is separate piece and the back is separate piece which still is and uh, I first uh, just put this together and remodeled the inside to fit my displays and then I figured uh, I start from scratch and did this which looks uh, pretty similar because it's a cube so again on this one I added the whole oops I'm here I'm sorry went out of the video so again this was his version and then I recreated it and added the functions I needed I made some holes for the sound and you can see the PCB here that I'm using just to power it and I attached here the magnetic uh, plug that you can get also on eBay or AliExpress like this and you have then the plug and you have the magnetic uh, USB so you can just disconnect it very easy you can also get extra plugs that I do also sell on Tindy uh, so you can have one cable but many devices and can just switch around and charge them 
Uh, this one obviously you see has no holes for buttons or nothing. And then I created this one here also. And I made a two piece design because of the switches. And this is my OLED new clock. And uh, well, I can show you the inside. So this is my clock as you might have seen before and on this again I made some holes uh, it's actually bigger than it needs to for the clock so I put a piece of foam in here and I designed the sides so you can use the button here to change the menu And now I can also show you the alarm, but I will do that in a second. I show you this side. This is the USB and the on-off switch. And I did this by having some test prints. So the display fits right in there. The PCB fits and the openings are right. I also did this one here. And uh, now it looks like this. This is not uh, processed yet. I did one here. And I actually glued this together. You can see the seam here with acet acetone. And it works really well and it's uh, it's not going to come apart. And I sanded it a little bit and all it needs is uh, acetone vapor. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do this with the watch inside. So I don't know if I'm going to do it. Here you can see those are uh, not the actual fitting parts. This was with this one here. Anyhow, uh, and I will call this the ice cube clock because it looks like an ice cube in the transparent version. I will print the transparent overnight here and we'll have this in transparent tomorrow. And I will upload these files on Thingiverse and on my Tindy store for anybody who has the clock. You can just go ahead and download this and print it out yourself. Uh, I will be offering these for sale too for anybody who doesn't have a 3D printer. And uh, anyhow, this will also work. I will make this also for the GPS cube. And in there, where did I add it? So the GPS fits in here also quite nicely. Out of focus. As you see, there's no wiggling, no nothing. I sized it especially for that. And I'm using ABS, so you can use this in your car, outside or wherever. And it will not deform or anything. If you print it in PLA, it will be slightly bigger because it doesn't shrink as much. And here I have some tabs, one on the top, one on the bottom. Uh, I did not want to use screws because I would have to make the case bigger and so it will be glued together but since it's 3D if anything happens if you drop it if you break it you can just print a new one and uh, have it go or even print different colors. Uh, let me show you on this one the alarm so you can see the LEDs they shine, do shine through the green also but they look great on the white one. But since I don't have the buttons on here, on the outside, i show you on here. So 344. I make it 345. 45. Set the alarm to all. Or actually just put it on LED because actually... Uh, we put it on all, all the way so you can hear it also. So it will go off in 12 seconds. Uh, I will make uh, maybe also a version for a keychain so you can hook it up on your keychain. And uh, let's see when this thing beeps. You see this is actually Christmas themed now. This is a blue LED but it looks green here. And you see 
it shines through to the green. If I put a uh, transparent over it, like, like this, so you can see how nicely it shows through the transparent. Okay, maybe I should have made it without the sound. Sorry about that. So this is a long overdue 3D printed case for my clock and I think this was it. Uh, if you have any questions please uh, feel free to ask in the comments. Oh and I also um, wanted to thank the person who bought an item on Banggood. I just joined the affiliate, affiliate program on Banggood and um, one person did actually buy something on there i cannot see who it is but uh thank you anyway and i made i think uh one dollar 33 cents off it so which is actually not bad for one sale if more people would do it uh, i could get a small side income and maybe buy some other stuff for example which i just found today let me show you on my monitor. This is the DJI Osmo Pocket camera. And uh, the clue on this is it has a 3-axis gimbal on it. It has an LCD screen or TFT screen. And it's really a great camera that can shoot 4K video up to 60 frames per second. And you can attach it to your phone so you have a bigger viewfinder and get some extra options for adjusting. And it comes with a cable, pouch and whatnot. But I'm just uh, <laughs> showing this because I, want, I would like to buy this for myself and be able to make uh, better videos or different kind of videos where you can also actually maybe see me in the screen if you want it or not. Anyhow, uh, this costs uh, 359 US dollars in America. Here in Europe, you pay a little more. It's 359 euros. So if anybody would like to give me a tip or buy me a cup of coffee, which I would save the money for the coffee and put it into this little guy and uh, would be nice. Anyhow, I will try to save up for it. And uh, I will definitely make a video of although there are many many great review videos out there already about that camera but uh, back to my business here these are the clocks and uh, if you have any questions suggestions or whatever uh, please leave them in the comments I gladly answer them and uh, if I don't get to make another video before Christmas time I wish everybody a Happy Christmas, uh, nice holidays, I hope you have, uh, you enjoy yourselves with your families and uh, I'll be working, <laughs> no holidays for me. So thanks everybody for watching and take care.